So in today's video, we are going to be doing a sub and so scrunchie. So if you want to see how to do it, just keep watching. If you're new to my channel, my name is Leslie. My channel is all about crafting that on a budget. I do mostly sublimation videos, but I also do Cricut and sewing videos. So if any of those things interest you, please consider subscribing, joining my YouTube family, and don't forget to enter the giveaway. I'm really excited. And again, thank you guys so much for 10,000 subscribers and let's jump into this video okay so for this project you're just going to need your design i do not have a big sublimation printer so i have my design have it kind of split and i'm going to cut it and tape it together my your fabric i'm just going to be using this fabric from dollar tree it's 100 percent polyester so i'm just going to try it out on this one you need some butcher paper some heat tape and your heat press. So you will also need some elastic. You're gonna need, um, you can use, this is half inch elastic, you can use one fourth. Um, you're gonna need, depending what size you make, you're gonna need anywhere from eight to nine inches of elastic. Okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut out my design and I'm just gonna use some scissors and I'm just going to, okay, I'm just gonna cut, Close to my design. Well, not even close. I'm cutting, you see that? I'm cutting a little bit of my design so that there's no white parts. You wanna make sure that you have no white parts at all when you're doing this. And that's just gonna ensure that when you sub, when you sub, you know, you won't be able to tell where that line is at. So now I'm just gonna line it up kind of like a puzzle. And you want to make sure that it lines up perfectly. And then I'm just going to tape it right here at the edge where my white is at. And then I'm going to flip it over. And right there where that seam is, we're just going to tape it all the way through. Just like that. So now... It's all ready to be used. So I'm just gonna put this to the side for now. And we're gonna grab our fabric. And then we're just going to lint roll it just like we do, would do any other sublimation project. Okay, so once I have lint rolled it, we're gonna take our design and we're gonna tape it down using our heat tape. You could also use spray adhesive if you prefer that. I prefer heat tape. So now that we have it all taped up, we're gonna move to our heat. So now I'm gonna put my scrunchie. I might have to do this in, does it fit fully in my heat? Oh, maybe it fits. So I'm gonna put some butcher paper on top. And I'm going to do 385 degrees for 60 seconds. I think like the very tip is not enough. Okay. So I think this other side might need, I think the very tip didn't get some. Look how beautiful that is. Ooh. So this is how it looks. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is how it looks right now. You can't, you see, if you line up your images and stuff, you can't tell. And you ha make sure you have no white space. You can't tell at all where you taped your image together. It's taken me a while to get to this place, but... Trust me, make sure there's no white. So I'm just gonna take my design. We're gonna take the fabric we sublimated. I'm gonna take an acrylic ruler and I'm going to line it up with my edge, just like that. And then I'm gonna take a rotary cutter and just trim it down. So if you're using a rotary cutter, acrylic rulers come in handy because it just allows you to have some straight cuts. So I'm gonna cut down my, I'm gonna cut down my elastic. I'm gonna measure nine inches. 
I'm gonna take just a marking tool because this is going inside of your um, scrunchie. You can really just use any marking tool to mark it. And so my nine inches is about here. And I'm gonna take my rotary cutter and just trim. So now comes the fun part, which is sewing. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take we're gonna take our fabric and we're gonna fold it in half lengthwise. And we're just going to clip that. And again, this doesn't have to be super precise or perfect. It's gonna look good when it is all done. So I'm just taking my shorter sides first and I'm clipping those. And we're just gonna clip all the way along this long side. So you're gonna sew all the way across the long way at a one fourth seam allowance and then just leave the shorter ends open. We're gonna put down our presser foot and then we're gonna keep sewing at that one fourth seam allowance. You can trim your seam allowance. I'm gonna just use some pinking shears because this Dollar Tree fabric, although it's 100% polyester, it frays as you can see. So I'm just gonna use some pinking shears and I'm going to trim my seam allowance. Okay, so now that we've sewn all across that way, we're gonna turn it inside out and make sure that when you're turning it inside out, you're being careful with those stitches at the end. So now we have our piece turned. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our elastic and we're gonna feed it through. I like to use one of these little bobkins where you just Put it on your elastic and kind of bring down the metal piece and it holds it in place so then you just you can use a, a safety pin if that's what you have but I just find this to be much better okay so once I feed it through I'm going to unclip my elastic and we're going to make sure that your elastic is not twisted or anything like that you want it to be nice and straight all throughout. And then we're gonna overlap them and we are going to, I'm just gonna overlap them about that much and then we're gonna do a zigzag on our sewing machine. So just put it down. And we're just gonna do a zigzag to just stitch it down. So I'm gonna put my needle down, put my foot down, hold it to the sides of it. And we're gonna make sure the back stitch. And then I'm gonna zigzag on the other side. Just gonna do a few zigzags. Just to, and you wanna make sure that you're keeping the fabric out. I'm gonna do one more zigzag at the corner towards this corner where they meet there. Just want to make sure that they're on there good. You know? Again, back stitching at beginning and end, that's super important. So now we have our elastic nicely sewn and it's secure. So now we're gonna take our scrunchie and we're going to kind of flip in each side a little bit and then you can either do like a you can either do like a ladder stitch and close it all up or you can take it to your sewing machine overlap them and just do a straight stitch just a normal straight stitch all the way across so that you're closing up that thing you want to do it as close to the edge as you possibly can and so if you do do like you know just a stitch straight across make sure that you do a thread that kind of hides it but you have your nice and cute scrunchy
How cute is this freaking scrunchie? Like, oh, it's so cute. I love how it turned out. I definitely think I would have made the elastic a little bit smaller. They recommended the nine inch. Well, you know what? Maybe you'll be fine. It, I was a little skeptical about the Dollar Tree fabric for this country, but I think it's perfect. So let me know down below if you guys try this out. I would love to see your scrunchies. Tag me on Instagram. My Instagram is at EdenGraceDesigns.co. And thank you guys again for supporting me. Don't forget to enter the giveaway and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.